Here's how to use Lightroom Classic to make your real estate photos or architectural photos perfect with the lines and perspective. When you're doing real estate photos such as inside or outside photos, or even just architectural photography, uh, most of the time you're gonna want your vertical lines to be completely vertical in your photo. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix mistakes in post, but the best practice is to get good at doing it right in camera. But let's say you fudged a little bit, maybe you're in a hurry, you didn't have a perfectly level, or you thought you did and it wasn't, here's how to fix it in Lightroom Classic. Okay, I found a home that I recently photographed, and to be honest, I did not do a great job in some of the photos of aiming my camera perfectly, right? And my angles were a little off and I had to fix it. So I've selected photos that I'm going to edit. I'm gonna create virtual copies out of them so that I can basically revert those to the original form without my edits and I'm not gonna ruin what I've already done. So let me filter this to just the virtual copies and here they are. I'm gonna select them and I'm gonna go into all these in batch and just turn off any of the transform modifications as well as cropping that I may have done to them. There we go. So they're edited, but the fixes that I'm gonna show you how to do are not done yet. And these are HDR brackets, by the way. That's another video. But uh, let's go to edit this kitchen one, which my angles were just awful. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, I was being too much, I was in a hurry and being lazy. So in the develop module, go to your transform panel and this should by default be off. We're gonna turn it on to guided. So it actually says down here, draw two or more guides to customize perspective corrections. So now our cursor turns into a crosshair and it's got a little zoomed in section. This is really cool, watch this. I'm going to trace along the lines that I know should be straight and it's going to make them straight and warp the entire photo to match that. So this bottom line down here is pretty clear. The corner of these uh, cabinets, let's just do the top one. Yeah, it's bright all the way across. I'm dragging to the top of this. I mean, you gotta be as pixel accurate as you can. Now we only have one line, nothing's happened yet. Now when we start drawing a second line, that's when the magic starts to happen. So now I'm gonna go to the opposite. I like to do opposite sides of the photo so that Lightroom really knows what it's supposed to be doing. So I'm gonna trace the lines on the top of the photo now. I'm gonna go on the top of this bright line. Make sure you're doing the right line and the top of the line over here, which is right there. Boom, now the lines are parallel, completely horizontal, and the rest of the photo has been warped to match that. Now the bottom I can see down here is not quite horizontal. That may be because of this being a little bit off. We can drag it down kind of, yeah, I can see it's getting closer. I guess these cabinet doors were not the perfect anchor for perspective. I'm gonna draw a total of four lines. So another line you wanna draw is vertical lines. So you can make sure that the photo is not slanted left or right. So let's find a really good vertical line. We, we could use these, although let's see how hard it is to trace these little tile lines. Make sure not move with my mouse. Going straight upwards as best, as best I can. And let's try that. Okay, yeah, I saw a little warp there, nice. And let's do our fourth line over here, another vertical line. I'll try to do two horizontal lines, and two vertical lines. Just kind of eyeballing it. I think that might be a little off. I can't see the line anymore. <laughs> Great, so I think that's pretty much it for this photo. Let's go to another one and see how bad I screwed up that one. Let's do this one. This one's pretty easy. The lots of vertical lines that are very reliably straight, like picture frames, they're factory made, they're straight. Door frames are very straight, so let's do those. Click on guided and let's draw some lines. The better contrast you have, the easier it is to be uh, pixel perfect for your lines. And I, I, I'm pretty sure the longer the line is, the more accurate the calculation is going to be. This is not a very long line here, but I think it'll be okay. Yeah, not, not, not a big change there. Um, we don't have any horizontal lines because I shot this at a 45 degree angle. I didn't follow the normal rule of shooting straight. Sometimes I shoot at 45s like this. If it makes sense with a corner in a small space, I'll do that. But normally I shoot straight on. But for this photo, uh, the angle will work better. Okay, that one's fine. Let's do this kitchen shot. Yeah, I can already tell it's leaning down. My camera's pointed down too far. So click on guided. Let's draw some straight lines over here, this little cabinet thing. Awesome, very technical term. That line looks almost straight. So let's try to find uh, the edge of this fridge. Oh, I lost it. Where'd the fridge go? Right about there. Yep, okay, nice. Let's do a horizontal line. Let's do the edge of this Actually, let's do the trimming of this ceiling. I did the bottom of the trimming right there. Awesome. And we can do something down here, but I'm not sure if these tiles 
all line up. I don't think they are any kind of pattern I can detect. So I'm going to stay away from that. Maybe I can do these lines up here. These should be measured perfectly if the builder knew what they were doing. Yeah, that looks, uh, looks all right. Sometimes you can fudge it and move, move things around manually. Cool. So let's do before and after. Before, after, yep, I was way off. And even with this warping, it looks pretty natural, as long as you don't have to go too crazy with it. You know, if you, if you really mess up a photo, like this one was probably on the edge of what I would be comfortable doing, because that was a big change, but it looks good to me. I, no one's going to say, this photo looks weird. You know, it looks looks great. All right, one more. This one, I can already tell is crooked. Let's draw these vertical lines on the green door, right there, and then something over here. Let's see, what's a nice straight line? This edge of white to green. That's, that's good enough. Nothing's happened. That's kind of weird. Let's draw some horizontal lines. Let's do this door frame right here. All the way across. Nice. And hmm, I don't have any. <laughs> there's no other lines down here I can trace. I'll just do this door again. There we go. Okay, cool. Another way to check these lines is just go to their crop tool, which is R. And then if you click on the edge, as if you're going to rotate or resize it, instantly this more detailed grid shows up. And I'm, I'm just visually looking over my photo, making sure any lines line up where, where they need to be. And I can tell on the edge, they're not very accurate yet. So let's go back to, uh, let's get out of our crop tool, go back to our guided tool. Let's draw some better lines. Now to get back to our tool where we can draw the lines, remove the lines, you got to click on this guided upright tool, also shift T. All right. So I'm going to move this line actually over here. Hopefully it doesn't freak my photo out. Ah, it is. No. Oh my gosh. I guess I should have turned it off there. <laughs> and then I'm going to move uh, this horse. Let's turn it off or oh, I can't. Hmm. Well, we're just going to do a crazy line. Don't do anything. Don't do it. Okay, good. I was able to draw the line. Sweet. Oh yeah, I can tell this looks really good over here. Maybe a tiny pixel adjustment that no one's ever gonna notice. And the windows over here look great. Everything's level. Let's go back to our crop tool. Awesome. So before and after, yep, very nice. And that's how you do it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said at the intro, get it right in camera. Just get better. Take a little bit more time at leveling and checking your angles. I will often pan my camera left and right to see if my lines in my scene line up with the sides of my camera screen. That's honestly what I use to check vertical lines sometimes. Um, but the better you get at that, the less time you'll have to spend in Lightroom Classic fixing things. But there's always that case where you're in a, in a hurry, you don't have that you know time to spend, and this tool is really powerful. I mean, it's super easy. It's just a few clicks, and boom, your photo is straightened out. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out my other ones in my Lightroom and my Photoshop, any of my photography playlists on my YouTube channel, and learn something cool. Have a great week, and have fun shooting.